Hello friends! While I was at New York Comic Con, I got to see Rise of the Tomb Raider at Square Enix's press event. It's the follow-up to Crystal Dynamics' 2013 Tomb Raider reboot. And I got to play an extended demo of it. I played, it was about 20-25 minutes I want to say. And let me tell you, Rise of the Tomb Raider is looking awesome. You're only going to get to see a small portion of what I played in this video. Um, just because that's what they've released for, um, for the public to see. But I'll, I'll talk you through it. Basically, Lara's looking for the, what's this place called, the Prophet's Tomb. And it has to do with her father's research. It wasn't super explicit in the demo what exactly is there that she needs. But, and it's also not clear, her father definitely is going to be a significant character in this game. But I don't know if he's actually alive or dead. But it's interesting, they use, basically you start off in this entry like it starts off with the cinematic and then there's like Lars in this entryway to the prophet's tomb and there's this like mural on the wall that like I think you'll see and and it's clear like this is I think from like medieval times and there's this whole story like there's this like backstory going on as she explores as she finds these little clues and stuff that like is the pro like did the pro the prophet was murdered by like some foreign invaders and there's also like there's this thing going on is the prophet really dead did did the prophet die when he was stabbed or did he live on it like what exactly is going on and i know and the the guy from crystal dynamics that was talking to me as i played said this said that the um, this will relate back to what happened on yamatai somehow so i think that's really interesting from you know tomb raider reboot from 2013's tomb raider and as laura explores she is exploring the Prophet's tomb. One thing that struck me is like, for the entirety of the demo, I didn't shoot an enemy once. And I think that is awesome. I think Crystal Dynamics, Dynamics is really pushing, getting gameplay focused more on interaction with the environment and some light puzzle solving. It was cool, You, the main section of the Prophet's tomb is this big open area that you, you'll really only get to see for a short second here. But a lot of the stuff that happens in there has to do with like, changing the water levels so that Laura can get around and maneuver the through the environment. And which is really cool. It's like break like she's breaking down walls with her pickaxe and opening floodgates and stuff and just working or working in like a circular manner around this big area so that she can get to the very top to the actual sarcophagus, I think, or casket or whatever. And, and it's cool, and there were actually, like, I, I enjoyed how there were there was stuff off the beaten path, even in this demo, like, I took took a few minutes to, you know, really look around my surroundings, and I found, I found this map that had a bunch of collectibles and hidden stuff on it, and little story pieces, and, you know, I didn't have a ton of time, so I didn't try and find everything on the map, but it was cool to see, like, it had marked out all these little hidden things in this big room that I could get to. And I'm really looking forward to actually being able to have, you know, a lot of time with the game to go and try and find all this stuff. Because I, I even in the little time I had with the game, I was finding these scrolls that were detailing what exactly happened with the Prophet. At the, at the end of the demo, it was really cool. These, you, we get to see some story and these guys that seem like mercenaries or something. Laura, Laura referred to them as members of, I think, the group name, a group named Trinity. They like blow up in the roof and like repel in and Laura <laughs> Laura hides in the fucking casket and when they go to open it they are looking for something in the casket. Laura like pops out and holds a gun at them and oh she's so fucking badass. She like they've rigged the whole place to explode so that when they get what they're looking for, no like they'll just blow it up. But Laura steals it off the head guy blows the place up with them in it and then is this there's this like shit like chase sequence as she's trying to get out before just the whole thing collapses on top of her and just it was really really cool once again just the fact that he didn't shoot an enemy once in the entire demo I, I really like that he said that they're going that they are putting more of a focus on these tombs so to speak and they really want the challenge tombs in the, they're gonna be challenge tombs are returning, but they really want those to be actual challenges and really, you know, brain, brain teasers and make you 
really have to think about how to solve the puzzles in these. And this was this was a very early game or location. This was a main this was a main story thing, but there will also be side tombs, and this was more an introduction. And even like the puzzle solving in it wasn't that hard, but it was cool to see that they are adding puzzle solving and that you know it's good that he said it's going to get harder as the game progresses. I'm excited to have that puzzle solving element to Tomb Raider because I don't I don't want it to just be you know all action all guns all the time this this took place in Syria um the guy from Crystal Dynamics Rich explained that there are two main locations in the game there's there's Siberia which is the main location where the game starts and then it flashes back to Syria where this the prophet's tomb is and you get to see some of the backstory of how like how did Laura get to Siberia and Siberia, like, Siberia is the, what you saw at E3, if you saw that demo. And then Siberia is where most of the game takes place after, after that. And he just rich, detailed how, like, there are going to be many different environments, you know, forests, mountains, and everything in Siberia. I'm, ex I'm just, I'm really excited to get to explore these big open environments and take on these challenge tombs and really see the progression of Laura's story, because the way he put it, this game was about, you know, woman versus wild, it's about Laura, you know, accepting her destiny as the Tomb Raider, as this, you know, adventurer. How's it going, friends? And we're here at New York Comic Con. After, after coming off of, um, I'm blanking on the name of the previous Oh, Remember Me. Remember Me, yes. After, <laughs> after coming up with Remember Me, it was like the inception 